What's up guys, the May Patreon rewards are now available. Cyclonic Rift, Jace the Mind Sculptor, and Avison Angel of Hope are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves or by clicking the link in the description below. What is up everybody? Welcome to part two with this mono blue flash list. Enjoying this one quite a lot. Uh, if you did not check out the first video, I highly encourage you to do so. Uh, we had very, very good luck uh, with this list so far. This is our, our like third iteration of flash decks. We've seen Simic Flash and then first Demir Flash uh, with Akoria coming out and all of them have been fantastic. I'm gonna keep this a uh, little bit heavy on the cutthroats here, but we'll do the best we can. Uh, and speaking of mono blue, if you are interested in picking up these uh, custom islands that we have created, they are available in our store at itresolvesmtg.com. Uh, you can purchase them there. The rest of the cycle, I know we've had a couple of comments asking about that. Uh, the rest of the cycle will be available very, very soon. Um, it is not quite yet, uh, solely because we just haven't gotten them in yet. Um, they are on their way. They're in print production right now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and opt here. Uh, and I will keep the land. I think we do kind of need uh, to make sure that we are hitting our land drops in this. So, well, and there we go. We get another one. Uh, let's go ahead and pass here. Uh, most likely going to quench something. Uh, this is a really, really cool deck if that's the one that I'm thinking it is. Um, looks like this might be just a mono green version, though. Uh, let's go ahead and quench that. Um, we are a little short on counters, but I do think uh, getting that off the table right now is just a really nice way to blank their turn. Um, and here, we get quite a nice little way of, you know, cutthroating out and then unsummoning whatever they play here. So, pretty excited about that. Um, let's do this. Let's let that resolve. And then in response to this trick, or uh, in, excuse me, in response to the phase change, we're just going to go ahead and bounce this just to negate their turn as much as possible. Next turn we get our land drop. We might be able to dash out or mutate out this octopus as well, and I think that's what we're going to probably do. Um, just to make sure we're drawing cards here, we do need to keep that flowing. Uh, let's go ahead and put it over, um, and we'll pass. Hopefully draw like a counter here. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Let's go ahead and pass and see what they do. Oh, feeling good with this deck, guys. I really do like it. Let's quench that now. Get our counter here. And we have to be feeling pretty good now at this point. They, we've blanked quite a lot of their turns. Um, oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's go ahead and draw. Or excuse me, attack, then draw. Uh, get our card. Perfect. Uh, and we'll pass here. Um, here we actually get to Cutthroat and Sinister Sabotage if we'd like. Um, and very, very happy we do a hard counter here. We're really just kind of keeping them off of everything. Um, let's drop this, get our counter, and we're going to Sinister Sabotage it. And I have to imagine the opponent is relatively frustrated at this point, which I definitely understand. Um, yeah, I'll keep that. Um, we can mutate that on here, uh, and then just draw two cards if we would like. Um, let's go ahead and do this. We'll, we'll mutate it onto the second one here. Draw two cards. Land, not so good. Octopus, not really great either, but, uh, does give us a third threat, which is worthwhile. Uh, but it does look like the opponent's going to get something down this turn, which is not great for us. Uh, though that is not amazing. And there we go. We've got it. Fantastic. Good start. Very, very good start. Um, let's jump into game two. Let's see how we do. Uh, and these are some quick games, too. Um, we're at four minutes right now. Uh, if you do want to check out the list, it is in the description below. You can certainly play it for yourself. I will be honest, this list feels amazing, uh, especially since we've been playing a lot of jank decks lately, uh, which has been very fun. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but it's nice to be able to play a deck that uh, can actually... Uh, win a game. Um, <laughs> uh, this is a very aggressive hand. Um, and, you know, we haven't had a hand that is just straight aggression, uh, so to speak. So let's give this a shot. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. Uh, I think this is a very uh, either really good hand or really bad hand, depending on the matchup. So 
Uh, we do get a Spectral Sailor out early, which I like. Um, and then we get to follow that up with probably just a Cutthroat or an Octopus to go ahead and draw an extra card here, uh, which I think probably is the right call. Let's go ahead and attack, and we'll just do this now. We'll go over. We'll get the card draw going as early as possible. Actually a very good card to, to draw there. Uh, just because we don't have any counters, it's nice to be able to bounce uh, whatever they might do. Now that's not great for us. Um, it's also not terrible, um, but it does lead me to think we're probably just against like an Abzan control mid range style deck, so we'll pass here. We'll see what the opponent wants to do. Uh, great thing about these flash decks is they do threaten Planeswalkers pretty well uh, because they do play them out on their turn and then we actually get to swing in at the... We flash out stuff at the end of the turn and then get to swing in, uh, which feels quite nice. Uh, and let's go ahead and play the Sailor out here too. Get a counter on this. We'll see if they've got a removal spell. Um, Essence Capture. Probably not going to be the most amazing card in this matchup, but, you know, we'll we'll see. Let's go ahead and swing in. Perfect. Uh, and we'll pass. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, not that we can do anything about it, but, you know, that's not the worst thing in the world for us. Now, this might be a... Um, uh... It might be kind of a smokestacky deck, uh, or a Doom Foretold deck, I should say. Uh, given that they're playing this, it just is a permanent that they get to um, obviously sacrifice, so that keeps it going for them. So that's kind of my guess here. Could be wrong. We'll see. Um, regardless, I'm pretty happy with our position. It's not amazing, but assuming they do <clears throat> have a Doom Foretold... Oh, a Prison Realm. Um... Sure. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Uh, this is an interesting list. I have not seen a list like this uh, before. See, played a lot of Asb as Ab. I can't speak Abzan decks very recently, in fact, but. Uh, this is definitely an interesting one. Let's go ahead and play out another cutthroat. We'll keep the damage going. Land is quite nice, actually. Um, just going to attack him. Get him down to 10, hopefully, unless they've got a, a spell here. Okay. Does not look like it. Opponent playing a bit slow, but that's okay. Probably just considering some options. That's cool. Um, very excited. Also, guys, we are um, we're doing a lot right now, uh, just in terms of trying to diversify and do a lot of different stuff. So, uh, if you've not paid attention to the channel lately, <clears throat> obviously you're watching gameplay right now. We've been putting a lot of gameplay out. Uh, we're trying to keep it consistent. Make sure we're hitting every single day. Uh, at least two videos, so we're we're really really churning out some uh, some some content, which is fantastic. Absolutely love that. Um, but obviously, it's uh, it takes a lot on our end to do that. So um, really do appreciate all the support that you guys have given us. We've got uh, a lot of stuff in the works right now. Not just uh, the the new lands uh, that I mentioned already, but got a lot of other stuff that we're excited to try out hopefully very very soon so uh if you're interested in some cool new stuff stick around subscribe like comment show your support we really would appreciate it um we also have our discord available uh we had a discord a long time ago and just like completely forgot about it not really forgot about it we just didn't really do anything with it um so we're back on discord uh so if you're interested in um jumping on there with us we'd certainly appreciate it i'm gonna pass no need to play anything yet um they are down to seven we don't have a great bounce uh that's something we don't want it's a pretty key card we can't really let them have uh 
I'm gonna put that on the bottom. Or excuse me, in the graveyard. Uh, and that actually worked out. We got another one, so now we are up to five mana. So we could like flash this out, for instance, and you know leave up an essence capture. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Sure. It's a pretty cool deck. Uh, it's not one that I have seen very much. <clears throat> sure. Got a lot of removal, which does make it a little difficult, but it is all enchantment removal, so if we flash out on their turn... Let's bounce the token first. And we'll go ahead and play this. So my guess is they're just looking to, uh, to return all the enchantments from the graveyard to the battlefield, which is pretty good. Um, I don't know if I should be attacking them or not. Uh, I'll be honest, that's a bit tricky to me. I think I'm going to do this, and I'm going to mutate this out here. I do really want to draw the card. We do know that they've got uh, this in their deck. So there's a possibility it might have been better to mutate uh, w dealing two damage instead of the three. <clears throat> but I'm kind of prioritizing finishing the game as quickly as possible, excuse me. Uh, and so that's why I went with the three. Now it's going to take three attacks regardless, um, but this just gives us better options. Now this is, you know, two turns and we kill them instead of this. Um, so we'll, we'll see. Might have been incorrect, but we'll do the best we can. Still liking this deck, though. Uh, this is a, a cool matchup, don't get me wrong, but... Okay. Here, I'm probably just going to flash this out and sacrifice it uh, to, to the Doom Foretold, depending on what they do here, of course. Flash this out. This just gives us a permanent to sacrifice other than this, because this is guaranteed three damage. Um, so we'd like to get that out. And that's a pretty good card as well. So <clears throat> protection for multicolored is very nice. Um, this is still at six, so they're not going to be able to ult. So let's go ahead and do this. And I think these are pretty much dead cards. Uh, so what I am going to do most likely is just, uh, play out this stone coil here. Just because this is now very, very strong and difficult to deal with. Um, we'll see if it works. Uh, but I do think, you know, we're going to have to sacrifice the permanent, probably going to be the borrower. Um, but we'll, we'll see. We kind of just hope they don't have a removal for one of these two creatures. Uh, if they do, we're kind of back to square one. Um, now unfortunately this being on the field does make it a little bit easy for them to get there, but got, we're going to do the best we can. Very cool deck, though, by the opponent here. A uh, little bit slow, I think, generally speaking. Um, but I will say they've they've handled this deck very, very nicely so far. I mean, they're down to two, don't get me wrong. But, um, you know, they, they've got some, some power here. Um, and given the right cards in hand, which they, they're able to get up to four this turn, they, they could really do some damage. So we will see. The opponent taking a little bit of time to think here, and that's okay. Oh, I did not read this correctly. That was my mistake. Exile target creature or enchantment. I thought it was just enchantment. That was my mistake. That was a bit of a misplay. Yep. 
<clears throat> Pardon me. All right. Well, we're to the drawing board, literally. Um, we have essence, essence capture, and that's not very good here. So, um, well done on the opponent. I just didn't read correctly. 100% a mistake. Uh, drawn quite a number of islands here. Uh, a little bit too many. <laughs> I think we surveilled one into the graveyard. I'm glad we did that. Depending on what we draw next turn, I think we're probably in a position where we can't really dig out of too well. Um, these are essentially dead cards considering they're an enchantment deck uh, slash planeswalker deck. Really doubt they have very many creatures, if any. Um, actual creatures, I should say. And, uh, you know, especially if we draw another island, they've got Vraska as well as Calyx going here pretty well. Uh, they're also... Did they sacrifice the Doom Foretold to the Doom Foretold? I guess they didn't want to sacrifice any of these guys. Uh, um, whatever. Ugh. Don't know why they're not attacking here. Uh, we don't have a haste. Well, okay, yeah, I d that makes sense. I get why they're not attacking. Um, all of our stuff has flash, duh. But, um, my thing is they're gaining and drawing cards. We're not, um, unfortunately we don't have anything to, to help do that at the moment. I don't think we misplayed other than not killing this sooner. I think we definitely should have done that, but um, that was a mistake long term. And that was just me misreading. But other than that, I think we've played correctly. It just uh, is a bit of a tough matchup. We've been drawing quite a number of islands, which isn't very helpful. Well, there went three cards we could have used. Oh my goodness, yeah, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and concede. They're getting incremental value here enough that, and we're just drawing islands. Um, so we'll go ahead, move on to the game three, hopefully finish up with at least uh, two wins here if we can get it. Um, still feeling really good about this. That was our first loss with this deck. Uh, and I'm telling you, man, this one feels really, really good. Any flash deck is gonna feel pretty good just because you literally just get to Kind of do whatever. Um, this is a decent hand. We're a little heavy on uh, you know which way we want to go here. But the great thing about this is we don't have to commit until the last possible second. So it's fine. M maybe mono red. Definitely mono red. Uh, yeah, we can't do that. I, I always feel like this card interacts weird with the interface, by the way. That feels a little strange to me. Um, drop this and pass. Good news is getting a very large stone coil serpent out very soon is going to be awesome. Um, I'm going to let this resolve. <clears throat> I'm playing this a bit differently, uh, and this may not be correct, I don't know, but we're going to try. Let's flash this out here. Do this and we'll pass. Now we have the mystical dispute up, so whatever they do, we get to counter. Um, not sure yet. It's going to be interesting. I'm going to just take the one. If they want to pump this up, uh, we'll brazen borrow it. Borrow it. Excuse me. Uh, and if worst case scenario, we'll take one. It's fine by me. I'm gonna let it resolve. Let that resolve. Bounce that, get a counter. I assume they're gonna shock here. Okay. Uh, interesting exchange, but I'm actually okay with it. Um, it's not the best thing in the world for us, but it's also not the worst. So yeah, well played on the opponent's side. Leaving up that, uh, that shock was great. Sure. It's 
pass here. Uh, we can cutthroat and essence capture uh, if we'd like. Yes, we're definitely going to do that. Um, uh, there we go. This also blocks quite well against a lot of what they're doing now that it has the counters on it, so we'll see. Doesn't look like they've got another burn spell that'll deal with it. Um, gonna take a hit here. Don't love doing that, but I don't think we've got too many options. Um, ugh. So we can play out our 4-4. Four -four, um, or we can pass, and I do think we kind of have to pass. They've still got a few cards in hand. We can always flash out the Brazen Borrower uh, if we feel the need. Um... <laughs> okay, I'm going to let that hit. I'm trying to be very, very careful with the way that I play this. Um, here I'm going to Essence Capture. Now that they're less committed on mana, they've only got three mana left available to them. Um, which they can use, but it's not going to be great. Uh, they can Ember Cleave, I suppose, right? <laughs> My guess is they've got the Ember Cleave. But I'm going to get rid of this guy first. We can't really block this because we just lose him. Um... Surprising that they chose to... What did they target with this? Oh, they haven't yet. I'm sorry. So, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So this just trades off. That's fine. Okay. Hmm. I don't think we can win, right? Um, so we can play this out for five, but they just get to Ember Cleave this guy up. Yeah, I don't think we can win this. Um, hmm. I mean, this is our best bet, but it also just leaves them open, right? So they can just Ember Cleave this up. They, we might get a turn, but I think we just lose. <clears throat> especially, I mean, especially with whatever they've got in hand, they can probably just finish it off. Like here, we're very obligated just to block this. Uh, but that's five, six, seven damage. Yeah, okay. Well, that's okay. We we gave it a good shot here. I still really, really like the way this deck uh, plays. Um, what's great about it in summation, uh, and to kind of compare it to the other Flash decks that we've played, like I said, we played um, Simic as well as Demir, uh, both of which were great. Um, and in fact, Demir, I think, is definitely my favorite, just because it kind of attacks on a few different angles, where I think Simic is a little bit more straightforward. It's very good, don't get me wrong, both of them are great, but it attacks on a different way with that slither wisp you just get some really really cool stuff but all that to say uh how this deck plays is very very uh obviously similar but it's very very nice it doesn't have the card draw that the demir deck has it does not have uh this one also doesn't get growth spiral in comparison to you know what we would get uh in the simic version now what we do run a little bit more of, like we've got the Essence Captures, which are really, really great against a lot of decks. Unfortunately, we saw in that second game uh, against the Enchantment deck, it really didn't do anything. Those are two dead cards in hand, which kind of sucked. But um, regardless, the deck plays very, very well. It's very consistent. Uh, what's, what's awesome about it is because it's so low curve, you get to run a little bit less land, but because you're only one color, 
you're not really ever hurting for anything other than, you know, if you have a bad draw and you just don't have lands or we saw in one game we had a little bit too many, that's a problem. But you're never hurting for your colors. You've always got your colors because all of it's blue. Uh, and so that's just the consistency of having a monocolor deck. There, That's why you run a monocolor deck, honestly. That's part of it is just it's easy to make sure that your mana stays consistent. Um, so I liked it for that reason. Um, I think... I would still play the Demir Flash deck over it. Uh, that's just kind of off the top of my head. I think I would still play that just because it attacks on different angles and has a little bit more utility. Um, you don't get as many of the like, like we don't get essence captures, but we do get stuff that destroys target creature, uh, like a dirge pad or whatever. Uh, you can throw those in there. So there's, there's a little bit more opportunity there. Uh, and for some less specified cards, um, Obviously, Essence Capture only counters creatures. Dirgeback counters, um, uh, not counters, but it destroys creatures, and I believe Planeswalkers as well. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but that gives you a little bit more utility against different kinds of decks. Uh, not to mention it's just on a stick, so it's a creature. It's going to be able to, you know, you can play it out no matter what. Um, so I think that that one's a little bit safer uh, in that you're not going to have as many just dead cards. Um, not that we had a ton, but every once in a while it was an issue. Uh, regardless, I recommend trying this one. It's very, very cheap uh, in terms of wild cards, which is great. Uh, you don't need a ton to make this deck. Uh, and you can go higher curve, too. There's the Great Shark and things like that that I think are fantastic picks. Um, but I think having such a low curve gets you to playing multiple cards per turn very, very quickly, not to mention on your opponent's turn. So I like it for that reason. Overall, felt good. Uh, didn't win every game, but we did a pretty good job. I think 4-2 and two was our final record. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, that's, that's fine. Uh, if you are uh, interested or, or if you enjoyed this, this content, please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. Uh, we always appreciate that. Uh, support would be amazing. If you'd like to sub subscribe, we certainly encourage you to do so. Today is the last day for our Coria giveaway. Uh, assuming I can get this up on time. Uh, and so please do enter that. Uh, but obviously just your support is fantastic. We really do appreciate it. So thank you guys so much uh, for watching and I will see you hopefully very soon in the next gameplay video.